Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you step by step how you can use Simply Book Me. In my opinion, Simply Book Me is amazing software and I decided I'm going to prepare a long version in which I'm going to show you most of the things. So the first thing that we are going to do is click here, get a free account. Here I'm going to add a company login. So let's say this is going to be a Sanui one. Now, uh, let's say company name. I'm going to copy my email that I created, then phone number, uh, business category. Let's say you just choose here. Let's say I'm in yoga and I'll be creating a yoga, um, like a simply book me site. The title here so this is going to be name of the business is going to be yoga with marcus and then a short description so i can write here i do yoga okay i'm not a robot and sign up now okay now we are going to verify the email and then we are going to continue So let's just wait until it loads. Email confirmation, code, and paste the code here. Here, I'm going to add a name and a password. So let's say it's going to be Marcus and password. Okay, let's go. And if you already got this, guys, you can easily skip this step, guys. But also, if you can have any questions regard Simply Book Me, just ask me down below in the comments. Now, what we can do here. So I found this really uh, dainty, or you can choose which one you actually want theme. Now we're gonna select our favorite look of our website. So I'm going to choose the dainty here, but you can choose your own. And I'm going to choose it on, on I'll show you everything on this one. <clears throat> now pick your favorite colors. So uh, you're going to have the colors here as a ocean eyes, mild welfare. I'm going to choose the showy, the first one. Then you're going to have the suggested features for you on your right side. So these things you would be able to use for your Simply Book Me website. And then how many services providers employees do you have? So I'm going to choose like one here and how many services does your company provide? Let's say I'm going for two. So I'm going to provide um, yoga for beginners and yoga for uh, like more mm, hardcore, how would I call it? For more experienced people. Okay. And then you have option, hooray, you are set to go. So you can click on uh, your booking website or go to settings. And I'm going to show you where each of these are is going to get you. So this is the website, how it looks like. And I'm going to show you how we can easily fill it out. And then when you click on the settings, we are right here. So when you're going to click on the settings, I'm going to show you step by step what you can do here. So let's just start uh, with the dashboard. And guys, we're not going well, with this here. I'm going to show you step by step so we can feel everything, all right? Of course, if you want, you can go this way too. Now, when I'm going to click on the dashboard, in dashboard, this is like the basic analytics for your Simply Book Me uh, site. So we're gonna find the bookings today, bookings this week, workload this week, revenues, a visit pre previous week, your tariff is free. So all the important stuff you would find here. Now, when you would go f even further and uh, scroll down below, this is like the basic reports here, total bookings, um, etc. And you can also filter it. Now, this is how dashboard works. If you're ready, uh, we're going to go for the calendar. In calendar, uh, what do you would find? You would find all uh, the events that I can add. So I can click here, let's say for 10 for today. And if I don't have a client, I can add a client. 
So let's say this is going to be a name. Um, so this is in calendar. I edited it by myself and client didn't choose it with the website. So let's say someone is going to call you uh, for yoga class and I'm going to add them to my calendar. So I'm going to add the name Marcus client email and number save and then service and we will also I'm going to teach you how you can add a service I just want to show you what you can do in a calendar and then you can have the start time and uh, end time you can have also as a recurring uh, booking so now I will just click save here and voila here we got our first like event now I can go to marketing suit and here uh, you can promote your business and make it bookable everywhere so you can connect it with Facebook Instagram bookings or booking that page or Google business or uh, you can have the marketing tools at your disposal as a custom emails so you're gonna find also the tools here that you can use and this is how you can use the marketing suite here what you can find here the next thing is uh, manage and here uh, this is where the fun starts so manage is really important because here we are going to uh, like edit uh, the services so I'm going to click on the service one service name one and here I'm going to add and change it to yoga for beginners and then uh, service description this is yoga for someone who is starting out you're gonna feel everything here just stop the video here and feel the service uh, services with me I don't know how many of them you have but go step by step really like describing your service here then you're gonna have the service image then you have also display service on the booking page uh, you can also enable adding a price and accepting payments so let's say this is going to be a 200 you can also accept deposits and then you have things like okay you have time details so how long it's going to take one hour okay you can also hide duration on the booking page then service schedule this is for the specific service if uh, we're gonna find in when you would click on a manage or I think it's in settings uh, we would be able to like edit and change the service uh, like for the whole site I believe so but you can also edit it right here so you can simply come and just add and change uh, the service schedule so let's say you're gonna for this service I'm going for 10 and 10 and then you can also add a break time so you can simply click here and it would give you like one hour of your of a break for your service so let's say I'm going to for lunch right and you can remove working period so you can even like disable Monday or enable Saturday so uh, you can also have more uh, flexibility and have it more advanced but this is where you can like edit and change it's pretty easy your service schedule now then you can have the service providers you can connect disconnect all providers service categories and uh, if you have like multiple ones let's say I would have for yoga for something for something I can enable it then uh, intake forms you can enable them if you want to and uh, you can simply click plus here and I'm going to show you what you can do okay now uh, intake forms you can have like forms of questions for people who are going to use your service then you can also connect memberships here and again I would click plus and would leave here uh, but you can have connected memberships products for sale I'm not really going into this or service add-ons uh, because these things are a little bit complex and you can have also like tickets here and loyalty system now if you want me go for loyalty system tickets and connected product for sales and service add-ons just write at me ask me down below in the comments and I'll be really happy to make videos on it so this is pretty much it and uh, when you have it you just click save and close source details 
like this save, save and close, right? So service name would be yoga for experience save and close. So this is where you can edit the services, like stop the video, take your time, fill it out, and then we can continue further. Now when you're gonna click on manage, you're gonna find the service providers, and this is the provider name one. So let's say this is going to be Marcus Stanelius. You can add multiple providers if you want, and then you're gonna see always the service provider schedule. Services attached to the service provider, so let's say uh, if I'm going to create a new service provider, I can link them to just Yoga for Experienced. I can link them for Yoga for Beginners only. So let's say someone who is really good at Yoga for Experienced, they are going to do only that. And then if you can have multiple locations, uh, you can simply click Service Provide Locations and you can click here and you would have more locations. So that's really good stuff. Then clients, this is something that we already did and we created it. Uh, you can easily import uh, the clients or you can add a new client uh, just yourself. Then you can have the users here. Users here are people who are going to like access the Simply Book Me. Memberships, this is something that we found uh, in services. Membership name, you can also check the video tutorial here the description of it at the start date. Also, you're gonna find the membership price settings here as a first payment, how, uh, and if it's recurring. So this is like the membership they can have. And again, if you're gonna, if you want me to create a membership a tutorial for Simply Book Me, I would be really happy to do that. Uh, but this is where we actually got it. Now, when I would go further, I'm gonna find the intake forms here. In intake forms, I can click plus here and these are the questions that I would have as a title field box, if it's a text box, if it's a checkbox, drop down section. Like how long were you doing yoga? And then I can show for all services. And then it would uh, like show on my website. So that's how, like you can also test it out if you want to. Now, at the calendar note types, these are the note types, and then taxes. If you want, um, you can add here. Then reports, uh, this is really simple and really easy. Uh, these are all the reports that are necessary for your business. So let's say if you are starting out with something and uh, you want to find how well it's performing and you want to go deeper into the analytics, you would find everything right here. The next thing are custom features. So you see the custom features here as a multiple locations. Uh, having a news, the custom page, the Google Translate, the client fields. So you're gonna find like plenty of options that you can actually use with Simply Book Me and in that way, Simply Book Me is really amazing. Now, if you want to guys, like uh, explain you something, let's say that multiple locations and you want me to teach you how to do that, how to edit it, right? And, or you want to uh, like explain how you can use the Facebook client info. Uh, I can do that, but they're like, as you can see, there's so much stuff that we could, we could spend hours explaining you every single one of these things. <laughs> But yeah, this is where you can uh, have all the custom features that you can add to your business. And they are really easy to use, they're not that hard. Now when I'm going to click on settings, uh, this is really important and spend some time here as a, like, where are you actually, uh, where you have your business. Then you can have the directory listing. Uh, you can have the company opening hours. This is really important, so spend just time also here. So let's say I want to go only from 10 a.m. and then for every day I'm going to add a break time. And I'm going for working for Saturday and I'm going to work only from 9 to 12. Okay, and here we got it. Then you can have the provider schedule and look at this, services schedule. So you can have option to, to choose the company opening hours 
and then there are two different things as a services schedule and provider schedule so when i'm going to click here on uh, the like service schedule i can change like uh, the opening is different from the service schedule so i can have yoga for experienced uh, right here or i can have yoga for beginners then uh, when you have the schedule you can go further to design settings and this is uh, like all the important design so theme settings color settings uh, the banner image you can really play around this stuff and you can enable it and how it looks everywhere right so you can choose the template then you can calendar layout settings and this is up to you again if you want to i can make you a tutorial on how we can easily create amazing website with simply book me and really optimize it i just want to give you the introduction what you can find with simply book me and how we can change the colors so i can go like let's say i would go with red here apple settings to a website and now i like okay my booking website on top right i can find it and see it's red so let's say i base the theme color let's say it's going to be like this apply settings and i'm going to refresh the website and it's green see so this is how we do it now of course you can go even further and booking widget settings And you see how it looks like then the next thing are custom css and then you have like main configuration my recommendation is definitely connect uh, your email with simply book me on the top you would find also like the emails the notifications so you can edit that too and the last kind of things are plans and prices and that's pretty much it. You can also get the mobile app. So that's good. And if I'm going to show you. See, I can go book now and look at this. Uh, when I'm going to yoga for beginners, I do yoga. I can go like yoga for experience. Then for tomorrow. Okay. And then I would just like email and password or I can don't have account sign up so this is how we can do it and this is how you can simply book me of course you can connect your own uh, website that you can use but this is pretty much it so thank you very much guys for watching I hope I provide you some kind of value on how you can use better simply book me for me it's an amazing tool like simply book me is top-notch tool that you can use for your business and I recommend it for everyone. Thank you, have a great day and goodbye. See ya!